morning, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Yeah, drawing! Drawing something fun today. I love character work. As you guys probably have already seen, I love doing character design. I love doing character work. I love just... If you haven't found out already, I just love to draw. Okay, so that's been established. <clears throat> what I really enjoy doing is exploring different facets of characters and trying to understand the motivation, you know, in, time, in terms of storytelling of what kind of character they are. Are they a good guy? Are they a bad guy? Or gal? You know, what exactly is their main motivation for being who they are? I think my garbage man is outside and he's just... Okay, there he goes. That was... That was pretty intense anyway so their main motivation for being who they are and you know you, you you explore the characters and you try to determine these things and then eventually you know you land on something that works um, this character today is kind of an enigma because at the beginning of her illustrious career she was a villain or at least I think she was you know, she was under the guise of, of an organization that basically used her abilities and eventually, you know, came to the point where they needed to, you know, eliminate her. And of course, by that time, they had created something that they couldn't control. So then, years went by and she became what she is now, which is part of the Avengers. <coughs> of course, I'm talking about Black Widow! I like me some Black Widow. <clears throat> Not because she's hot looking. And, you know, a red Russian, a red-headed Russian that kicks booty is pretty awesome. We all know that. But what's what makes her interesting is her struggle. Her struggle for consistently trying to <clears throat> do the right thing. She's got this, all these incredible abilities and, you know, she's done so many bad things, you know, don't hate me because I'm awesome. Um, but she's, you know, she's, she's trying to do the right thing. She's trying to clean up and, and it's not easy for, it's not easy for a gal like this in this town to be able to clean up, see? <clears throat> because she's, you know, she still has all of that old stank on her. Um to say the least and you know people people in general as we all know don't all, put it this way p people like to see a good character fall <laughs> it's it's a hard thing to understand and that that's pretty standard in in uh in life in general <clears throat> you know people like to see the good the good guys fall but what we really like to see is the good guys fall and then the good guys rise, baby. The good guys rising up. Rising up against adversity. You know? <clears throat> anyway, so what I've done basically here is create a... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> weather's changed here in Florida, so it's a little bit humid lately. And, man, it's freaking havoc on my, on my allergies and stuff. So what I've done basically is create a big mess. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I didn't create a mess. <clears throat> what these are, for me, is, are, they're, they're basically motion lines, but also it, it, it creates a sense of balance and movement inside of the gesture. Now, whenever I was going to college, you know, I, I was doing gestures, you know, I was doing gestures you know, here, here, and then I would come around, you know, have that arm here, yeah, have that arm here, and just create an indication of where those, you know, the hot points are. I call them hot points, but basically it's where 
you know the gesture kind of changes and and that weight moves and that's basically where I would leave it and then I'd move on to the next one so that's like what 30 15 second 30 second gesture <clears throat> and this you know I have to consider more than just the gesture and I'm going in and I'm correcting character corrections and you know figuring out where exactly you know I want the eyeballs where I want uh, you know the hair how much I want the hair to kind of loop around you know where I want the hair to fall where I want you know her um, her top shelf to land <clears throat> you know and you don't want that top shelf to be too big you know uh, unlike some people I'm, I, I'm not a huge fan of putting giant you know boobs on my lady characters because honestly and, and it's so funny because I look at some of the other characters out there I look at some of the <clears throat> from Marvel characters that people draw to um, you know ladies that have uh, armor on and they got no clothes on dude they got no clothes come on man anybody can draw a naked lady right the challenge is making it make sense in the context of who the character is you know, if I want to draw naked ladies, I just draw a naked lady. If I want her boobs to be exposed, I just draw her boobs. That doesn't make any sense to me. You know? So, that being said, what I'm trying to establish here is just her relationship to her ground. <clears throat> you know, what she's going to do, what she's going to look like. Um, you know, her gesture in the context of the page. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is just go back and I'm going to start character correcting. So I'm going to do that on time lapse. Um, this is just going to be a short one today. I'm probably going to spend no longer than 45 minutes on the entire drawing, including color. So hopefully I can work through that really quickly and get that done. I've got a lot of work today. So thank you guys um, uh, for subscribing. I've tried to record a kind of a wrap up uh, maybe three or four times. And for some reason, the, the voiceover doesn't... It, you can see my face talking, but it doesn't sync up with, with, uh, with the audio. So I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Right? And it's through my iPhone. And you know, you guys are gonna say, well, there's your problem. You're using a stinking iPhone to do all your videos and stuff. And I'm like, well, <clears throat> it's a great device, um, and and it's convenient because I'm trying not to spend too much time on editing, and. The iPhone is great because it shoots, you know, 1080p video and it shoots 4K video and and honestly, there's no reason for me to go out and buy another camera. Number one, because I can't afford it, but also, but because you know, this does the job. But lately, it's just been it's been sucking. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go to time lapse on this one, and hopefully, on the other side, we got something that resembles Black Widow. So anyway. Anyway, okay, enjoy the character, and we'll talk to you soon.
That's the drawing for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Like and subscribe and share if you can. And we'll move on to the next drawing. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.